And in studio with me this morning, I have Honorable David Olesankok, who's the chairperson of the National Council of Persons with Disability, and Lillian Langat, who is uh, the program's analyst, HIV and Disability Focal Point at the UNFPA Karibuni Sana. Thank you so Heavy much. Heavy titles. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that we had to get them right. Heavy. And uh, the Wekali, thing, uh, <laughs> let me correct you a bit. Yes. I voluntarily retired from National Council for Personal Disability at the age of 38. Oh. To give an opportunity to another person with disability to lead that mm -hmm. institution they call home. Okay. So when I retired, mm -hmm. uh, the president was gracious enough. Yes. He appointed somebody by the name Peter Mushiri Mwangi. Okay. So he's now the chairman, mm -hmm. National Council for Personal Disability. Ah, Myself, um, uh, the nominated member okay. of parliament, mm -hmm. representing the 6.5 million Kenyans with disability, mm -hmm. and also the chairman is African Council for Personal Disabilities. Oh, now you have a larger domain. <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger. And uh, apologies for that, but karibu sana. Yes. And thank you for putting it straight. Yes. Did I get yours right, Lillian? Yes. I did. Yes, I did. did. Okay, so, great. Yes. Yeah. And like I said earlier, the 3rd of December, we mark the day, the International Day of Persons with Disability. And right now, currently, the world, we are observing the 16 days of activism. Mm -hmm. So it goes, there's no way we can talk about one without the other. Mm -hmm. And it's not just for persons with disabilities, but for everybody else. But when we talk about this particular day that is coming, what what is the theme for this year? What are we looking at? Mm -hmm. The theme for this year is leadership and participation of persons with disability mm -hmm. towards an inclusive society uh, beyond COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So it is a, a call to ensure that in our leadership, um, areas and in every aspect of life we bring in persons with disability because it is their right also to participate in leadership and in development issues okay so okay. this day is to create awareness and also to advance yes and, and uh, their rights and uh, their participation in day-to-day -day economic activities and development of Kenya Absolutely. So we've had a conversation around inclusivity for quite a bit in this country. Mm -hmm. And thanks to persons like you who were very loud about it and you didn't, you said you were not going to stop until it is hard that every institution, every office, mm. every place will have, it will be inclusive. Where have we gotten to in terms of this conversation? Thank you very much, uh, Mikali. <coughs> and I think you'll give me some few minutes, first no of all, to problem. explain to you. Yes. Uh, because normally uh, the past is the mirror to reflect into the future. That's true. Where we are coming from yeah. as personal disability is somewhere that nobody can be proud of because uh, in the past, personal disability were treated as an appendix, uh, no function but then exist nonetheless. And uh, that is why in our tradition, uh, personal disability was like a liability mm. and was like a curse. Mm. In where I come from, the Maasai community, uh, birth attendants are given specific instruction to kill a person with disability at birth okay. by giving cholesterol as the first food it will coalesce in the uh, stomach and then they will not eat any other food and then they will die <coughs> of hunger. Uh, in the Samburu community, uh, sniffing tobacco is mixed with water and then it will be given as the first food, it will perforate the intestine. In northern Kenya, they will throw the child born with disability into a kettle pen which uh, then will turn to manure. So where we come from, you remember the story of uh, Uganda, yeah. where the, la the late president, India Amin Dada, uh, took personal disability in a tipa lorry and hauled them onto the Lake Victoria, yes. where there were a lot of crocodiles. They became food for crocodiles. Uh, thank God I was not uh, a Ugandan at that time because I will not have been here. So where we are coming from yeah. is where personal disability are demeaned is where when you walk in the streets, even children imitate you. They walk like you. Nobody even think about you. Mm. Where when we try to get married, it's a hell of a problem for us to get a spouse. But uh, since 2013, when President Uhuru took over, the narrative was changed. Mm. There was a lot of benefits that were given to personal disability. One of them is ACPO, access to government procurement opportunities, which a certain percentage of all government tenders are set aside for personal disability. We're also given uh, the benefit of importing vehicles duty free. Yes. We're also given tax exemption. I don't pay taxes on my salary. If, uh, uh, and 
so many other persons <laughs> that don't pay taxes. Okay. Uh, and again, uh, sign language became the Kenya third mm -hmm. official language, which yes. is examinable in exam. Yes. There was a unit in uh, our universities where uh, architectures and engineers are taught on accessibility in terms of personal disability. All ministries and department agencies of the government, when they are doing what we call performance contract, mm -hmm. there is marks awarded specifically for disability uh, mainstreaming. There is representation of personal disability across the board. I am in Parliament National Assembly representing personal disability. Mawara with a, uh, who is a person with albinism yes. because we have also to balance mm. our categories as yes. personal disability. Uh, is a person with albinism representing us in the Senate. There is Dr. Chomba who is uh, a person with uh, vision impairment, who is blind, mm -hmm. representing us in the National uh, Gender and Equality Commission as a vice chair, yeah. which is also an equivalent of a, a member of parliament. We also have Washington Opio, who is representing it as in uh, the Commission of Obusman, that is a commission on the administrative of justice. That means, if and he's deaf. Yeah. So even categories of personal disability have I been uh, taken care of. Yeah. In fact, when Uhuru took over, we were number 15 in Africa in terms of disability rights. Mm -hmm. Currently, we are number one. And we are recognizing the whole world. That is why in 2018, we co-hosted the World Disability Summit with the superpower that is the uk mm. you can imagine where we are at the moment yeah. let me tell you lillian uh, yes. uh, today it is no longer the issue of hiding personal disability no. and killing them no. it is even people pretending to be personal disability so that they can access this benefit that some of us have uh, gotten mm -hmm. you know i remember when i was the chairman national council for personal disability one guy came to my office mm -hmm. pretended to be deaf completely and he was actually signing. He was talking with the same language. So uh, he wanted to import a vehicle duty-free, uh -huh. which was of uh, 5 million. Yes. So he would have only paid around 2.8 million. Yes. So he, he saw it attractive. So he pretended and we had filled all the forms. But accidentally, he asked me that he will use my toilet, which was inside the office. I told him, okay, washroom, you can use them. So I realized, because some people normally pretend, this guy has said death, so let me test. So I screamed. So you can imagine <laughs> how did he hear and he was deaf. So, by the way, the stride we have made, we are not yet there, but we have made enough strides. Okay, mm. okay, okay. And I don't know if you have anything else to add on that, but maybe just to, uh, you know, ask a follow-up question on this. Mm. With the exemptions and maybe the, uh, the, the things that have been put in place, for persons with disability, is this information, do you feel like this information is out there for everyone? So we have some who are taking advantage of the information because they know it. Then it, do the people who really need this information, do all of them have this? And what is being done to make sure that everybody um, has access to this information? Thank you, Mishimia. Uh, it's true that a lot has been done in Kenya and true that we've been recognized as a best practice when it yes. comes to inclusion. So the, um, there are organizations plus the government who've been working on creating awareness among communities. As he said, initially it was really stigmatized yes. and persons with disability were discriminated against. So we've created, the government has, with partners has created a um, community awareness creation booklet that uh, is used to go to the communities and, mm -hmm. and especially families because it begins with the families accepting a child with disability and raising them on an equal basis as any other child. Mm -hmm. So that has been done. There are community rehabilitation centers that have been set up uh, in 246 uh, centers in across the country. So, so a lot of work is going on. Obviously, information takes time to trickle to every mm -hmm. corner of the country, but I think by far and large, the majority of Kenyans are aware of uh, persons with disability and their rights. We also had committed in 2018, you mentioned the Global Disability Summit, we had committed to include, there is a, uh, a group, there is a group of people who, d who came up with questions to assess, uh, to, to estimate the number of persons with disability mm. that are called the Washington Group. They have long and short questions. One of our commitments was to use those short questions in our population and housing census. And that was included. I don't know if you were asked <laughs> questions on disability. Mm -hmm. So we did use that. We are among the countries who are now using it. But we do also realize there are challenges that uh, maybe we didn't prepare our enumerators sufficiently enough to ask the questions uh, appropriately or to customize the questions so that they would elicit accurate responses. So 
the we did get the numbers but uh, there was a feeling that what we got which is 2.2 uh, percent of our population or 987 <laughs> um where has mentioned 6.5 but mm -hmm. our census says we have 987 mm -hmm. but thousand. that excludes mm -hmm. thousand nine hundred and eighty seven thousand that ex excludes children under five mm -hmm. because uh below five um it's usually recommended that you know a disability would truly manifest itself and dr um, you can confirm uh, from age five onwards so yeah. below that it could be that a child has delayed in mm -hmm. its uh, development okay. milestones so mm -hmm. that is it so there's been creation awareness we have used the washington group questions in the education sector uh the ministry of education has developed inclusive plans and they have also been working on making educational institutional institutions more accessible to learners with disability they're training teachers more teachers to be able to to meet the needs of the various disabilities as he mentioned because we do have visual we have mobility we have intellectual and uh hearing yes. impairments yeah so there's still work to be done we mm. still need to keep mm. creating awareness yeah yeah and even as we mark this mm. uh, beautiful day on the third, creating more awareness around this, what would be your message to Sisi, what to, to village Nyumbani? What would be the message? Even as everything is being done and the government is really putting mm. measures in place, mm. it takes the community as well to take the step and to listen and to hear and to follow what is being said and learn. I have, first of all, two messages. Please. One message is from the President Uhuru Kenyatta. Yes. You know, uh, from where I come from, a person with disability, that is a Maasai, is actually named uh, a Kas, a Ngoki. Mm. So that name, you are either called a Kas, that is a Ngoki, or you are called Rungojine, that is a Haina, because you are limping, or you are called Ormaima, that is the seal, you know, you know the, yes, the seal the from seal. you. Mm. So you are given the meaning names. Now you can imagine when President Uhuru Kenyatta nominated me to parliament, changed the name Ngoki, which is my prefix, to Honorable David Olesango. Mm. There's already a message out there yes. that there is ability beyond disability. disability. Now my personal message to whoever who is watching, yes. uh, who is not a person with disability, please don't see my disability. See my ability in me. Mm. You know, sometimes you so much concentrate on my disability. Mm -hmm. And you don't really see the ability in me. Yeah. And uh, if we can compare, I may be more able than you. Yes. You know, sometimes I meet somebody and he's telling me, Mulamavu, uh, I'm a Kiwete, you know, some names. Mm. Kiwete, Kisiwi, Kipofu, you know. Yeah. There are Very things demeaning. that are referred to non living thing, Kiti, mm. Kitanda. But when you refer me like that, mm. I also watch you. Probably yes. you scored an E in high school because there was no F. And me, I scored an A because there was no A plus. That's why I went to medical school. So you can imagine, you are actually very able in the field, yes. but you are disabled in class. Yes. So we are all person disability. We are abled differently. Yes. Or we are all person disability. Mm. The degree of mm. disability is the different, and the style yes. of disability yes. is where. Because why do you get a C while a person disability like me got an A? Mm. It's simply because there's a certain level of disability in you. Yes. You know. So again, uh, my message is that. Uh, uh, come out and as i say don't see my disability i remember one day when i went to a crusade or prophet or war in uh, in akuru mm -hmm. just after being nominated i went to go and thank god because i thought my disability is a liability to me mm. little did i know that it is now what took me to parliament it's without a, a single vote yes so it was a blessing to me yes. so i went to thank god but when they saw me they saw a person with disability Either a beggar, they wanted to get 50 bob so that he can give me, or someone even dared tell me, Mze usikai hapo, enda pale mbele uombewe ndi umugui pone. I said, nikiombewe umugui pone, I've lost my seat as a member of parliament. I will be degazetted immediately. So I ran very fast, you know, because, because... I am okay. Yeah, because this, is, this, is, this is where we are See, at. This is where you are. By yes. the way, you know, let me ask you, Michael. Yes. I have four legs. As mm -hmm. you can see. Yes. You have two. <laughs> so you are unduthy while I'm a crab. <laughs> 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 and you know, you see me as a person with disability. I'm more stable than you. Andu, uh, mm. A Prado is more stable than unduthy. Than unduthy, than unduthy mm. my friend. Than mm. a motorcycle. Mm. So I think uh, we have to change in that. There is ability. Absolutely. See, uh, some ability yes. in me. 
give me an opportunity. No sympathy. Yes. I don't need that sympathy. Yep. And again, to pass on disability. Please, disability is not a qualification. Yeah. You have to be employable for you to be able to be employed. You can't say you are disabled, you will become a doctor mm. unless you have gone to through school. the training. Yeah. The other issue is that let us not use our disability as a begging tool. No, if uh, in, uh, when I became disabled at the age of uh, 12, because I became disabled through a doctor's injection, mm. that is why I was not killed at birth at the age of 12. If I would have used an excuse to beg in the streets, probably God would have looked for me because God knew why I became disabled. Probably he knew 30 years later I will be a member of parliament yes. through my disability. Yes. So he would have looked for me to take me to parliament. You are the right candidate to fight for people. <laughs> and God knew. <laughs> yes, exactly. Knew. exactly. Yeah. So if I went to begging using my disability as an excuse yeah. to beg, mm. then God will have looked for me. Yes. Uh, and of course, uh, you cannot be picked from the street to parliament straight away. So let us also pass on disability. Let us come out. Let us use the ability that remains with us. Yes, I cannot run in the field. Very few, few Kenyans earn through their legs. Uh, maybe footballers and uh, uh, athletes. Yes. And some of them earn through their hands, their mouth like you and your brain. Yes. So we can use other organs, other organs to rock to the world. Absolutely. Yes. And finally, <laughs> for, yeah. <laughs> for me, I just wanted to add uh, that uh, disability is a result of an impairment interacting with in an accessible environment. Yes. So it, that is when it becomes a disability. That is true. But if we create an accessible environment, we become inclusive and we, uh, in a way, we, we, we manage that disability. Mm -hmm. So it, it's no longer a disability because if, uh, like a school has ramps mm -hmm. and children with uh, mobility uh, issues are given uh, crutches or given uh, wheelchairs, yes. then they, they, they will be able to come to Absolutely. school and to participate. If there's somebody uh, who is deaf and you have a sign language interpreter or people learn sign language, then, then, it's it's, yeah, then they are able to participate and to learn and Absolutely. to communicate with others. So let everybody, you know, educate themselves. Let's get rid of our biases against persons with disability mm -hmm. and learn and, and find ways of making it easy, creating it. Okay. Uh, accessible and finally I wanted yes. to speak something about women <laughs> so uh, for a long time 30 seconds 30 seconds yeah yes. women with disability even face more stigmatization than men and when it comes to reproductive health they are m most of the time they are seen to be asexual that they shouldn't be getting pregnant they mm -hmm. shouldn't be raising children so let's get rid of those double biases against Absolutely. women they are women they want to have families and they can raise the, the whatever disability they may have, the impairment, let me call it an impairment, yes. may not stop them. So let's accept them. Let us accord them the rights that the constitution of Kenya okay. and our leadership has accorded Great. to everybody. Thank you. Asante, Sarah, Lili, <laughs> you went through that very fast yes. because we're really running out of time. Thank yes, you so colleague. much mm. for coming through. Asante, Sarah, Lili, and Kwakuja, Namhesh. Keep doing what you're doing, and we'll be here to just, you know, mark the day with you. Next time when you third. see me, yes. see my ability. Yes. Ah, ah, I'm just I'll see a Prado. We are going to take, we are going to take a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Mais moi, tu es le prêtre.